one, I hope you get, if not only understanding, the real feeling, the warm feeling, that we are very committed to this new horizon called Sweeney Experiment. It has been a very hard work for uh, the last uh, years to formulate that new horizon and uh, establish the basis while respecting our roots on the past of what we have done. We don't want to be a software company just for the sake of creating growth of content. That's not the point. Uh, as you can see, in the last of years, we have uh, taken very critical steps. We have tried to formulate them very clearly. And I think the thing I hope you recognize now, and that's my first takeaway, maybe for you, is that when we commit to do something, we do it. I want to use this track record as a tool. It's not necessarily the easiest way. Many of our 30 years ago competitors, uh, or managers, or colleagues, have taken different routes. But at the end of the day, I think everything we want to do is based on what we believe we can contribute to do for the for the customers we serve and for the society at large. So that's the first takeaway. On uh, each of those steps, there are plenty of anecdotes, plenty of stories about how it has impacted the transformation of the manufacturing industry as well. Each of those steps, we continue to invest even more. One step is not replacing. The previous one is expanding. And you agree that uh, without the previous or the other steps, it would be very difficult to create a 3D experience platform on collection of applications. The history counts on the value of legacy is important. It's not a problem, it's a value. The second remark I would like to you will notice that unlike many, many of, I, I would say, uh, software companies, there are two things that you need to keep in mind. When we decide to launch a new architecture, was it V4 for digital worker? Was it V5 for PLM? Is it V6 for 3D experience? It's an incredible bet, not from a software evolution standpoint, but from the real science we put inside to change the scope of what we want to address. We launched B5 in uh, 99. We sell it un until 2020, maybe more. B6 is not going to replace B5 at first. If customers want to do digital mockup on PLM in the expanded way of digital mockup, B5 is the best, most competitive solution. We have done V6 for something else. Will V6 at some point in time be a logical step for customers to discover and take advantage of 3D experience? The answer is absolutely yes. But it's for the discovery and the use and the, uh, taking advantage of, of what we call 3D experience. We'll be sold at least for 20 years. We'll be supported until 2030, 2035, or V5. V6, we are launched. Uh, you know, two years ago, uh, we probably said it until 2025, 2030, maybe more, and we supporting it until 2004. It, it gives you an idea of the life cycle. This is not software based. This is about completely different approach to connect different ways on infrastructures to represent the world. Was it? product at the beginning, or shape, or product definition, and now it's about harmonizing product nature and life. In V6, you will have modeling tools for human cells, or skins, skin of the people. Uh, you will have tools, as you saw, uh, with the gem card acquisition, to maybe do the modeling of the planet. And we're going to do a sudden meter modeling of the entire planet, sub-meter accuracy because it's necessary for logistic 
energy from the users. So those are the, the takeaway. We are investing to really make sure we can help this platform to become uh, a way to represent the different aspect at a certain level of understanding of what science allows us to, to know at a given point in time. When we first did the shape of an airplane, everything was not known about uh, aerolasticity, aerodynamics. They were very sophisticated models that were not even known. They were uh, known from the testing, but they were not known from the uh, digital augmentation. But we have, step by step, completed that with purpose. We do have a purpose. We are we are, put, we are working with talk, and we are going to invest to make this possible. It's meaningful right now, and it can be used right away. And the way customers are going to use V6 is not at all as a V5 plus one. The most innovative companies are going to adopt the 3D experience platform for the 3D experience design simulation model so they can create things that uh, are on experience that, that go far beyond what they were doing. And um, the innovation aspect of uh, DASO system, the R&D investment, we continue to be very strong. Uh, you may have seen that in Forbes magazine, we are the top 100 most innovative company in the world. We will continue to do that through internal research and development, but also through very well spotted acquisition. Now, maybe you get a better understanding about why we did the move with Exalib. Why Exalit indexing? Uh, all of you uh, don't know Exalit, you know. Exalit is this search uh, platform that uh, allows us to index the entire web. We can index 80 billion pages. In fact, we have mission security systems which are using Exalit to import the entire world index of the web inside the server so they are not tracking when they search. Because as you know, if you use online search, you are tracked. Now, for us, it's not a problem. But for my r and it is a problem. <laughs> so we are very careful about what people do outside uh, online search. Because if you know what someone is searching, you know what is the topic they are working on. So we have done exactly for that, and, and it's not only to index the, 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 the World Wide Web, but it's to connect the information which is available, including semantics, to what is available inside the company. Now you better understand that we're going to build application on that. We're not, we're not so interested to sell the engine instead, of, we want to sell the application values, the experience. The second thing we is net drives, 100 million downloads. Who would have thought that the source system would be buying really a consumer? oriented uh, cloud-based software. This morning we didn't have any presentation about the device. You saw it in the auto demo. And I, I hope you perceive the formidable new perspective that any company can build inside their company by finding out everything which is published for a certain purpose. You, you remember the breaking instance, you remember all those digital information available. So that's why we did NetVibes, and we are going to NetVibes everything we have as a system. We are going to NetVibes in OVR, we are going to NetVibes ERP system, we are going to NetVibes CRM system, we are going to NetVibes information flow which are on the web, so you can do that work. If you don't use NetVibes yet, if you're not discouraged from your own job, NetVibes, Please download it, it's free, until tomorrow morning. <laughs> so, you, after you will have to pay. Not tomorrow morning, but maybe soon. And, and the advice is very useful, even for your information flow. If you try it, I think you will discover how far you can go with it. And I think it's really just the beginning.
it's all 